boys, before the start of the review, I will show you very quickly man settings on ATK F1 Pro Max. LOD settings 1mm, even a time 1 minute, and K uh, stock anti shake delay 0 millisecond, taste buff is totally preference, uh, DP light effect off, I want more battery life. Uh, the pulling rates, I will recommend uh, minimally 1K, maximally 4K for now. Also, you can play on 8K if you want, but you need to have a good CPU, but I will more recommend 1K, 3K, 4K. Now, the most important point is there. Move synchronization off, angle snapping off, ripple correction off, ultra long range mode off, and this one, it's on. Firmware Proficient S Pro mode is the same uh, if you remember on VX R1 Pro Max, the performance mode of uh, on. This is the same. This is my best settings for have the best feeling on the sensor on FPS game, and this is why I recommend for the people. You can change it for uh, find your best uh, feeling for you, but this is why I recommend. And now you can enjoy the video and the review. Love you, boss. Hello, everyone. How are you, boys and girls? Today is the day for trying this mode because so many people ask me for that. This is the ATK F1 Pro Max. You can see the mode, first of all, extremely great. The color is nice, the design, the finish, and everything is great. The quality also is great. I can. It looks extremely strong in the mode. You don't have any really, really words on any default. The quality is great. The sensor on this one is uh, 3950, the best sanctuary actually on the market, playable on 4K Hz, also on 8K Hz, you have the dongle here, great points. The battery life is 150 on 1K Hz, on 4K Hz maybe you can play 3 day, 4 day, which is probably on 8K, 3 day maybe maximally, but it's great, it's extremely nice. The way, 50, 52 grams, not high, not low on the middle, perfect. And the switch, on this one the switch it's Optical mode switch. I know what this is not the best switch ever you can have actual the market, but it's okay. You know, it's I can't say nothing because so many people love it, so many, so, uh, so many people don't love it because on durability is saying this is not the best switch uh, for the future durability, but you have to eat it. Now, let's go try this mouse in the game. First of all, boss, it is my first step with you. I will start on 4K Hz, after that, on 8K Hz. Let's go in the game. Hi, hi, hi. I'm a little excited. Okay, first of all, most sliding perfectly. This is nice. It's very light. The sliding is extremely light, extremely smooth. I love it. The skate behind the most on PTF is great. Let's I go. Let's go to some tracking. Let's go for around and tracking. I can do around and tracking with a problem. We don't have any with peeling on the sensor. The response time is great. Let's go try if you have any acceleration. Fast, low, low, fast, 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 low and slow. You don't have any acceleration. This is great points. Let's go do some flick on the heads if you the response time and the sensor response perfectly. Yeah, the response time it's great. Yeah, the three tab, three tab, three tab, okay, perfectly. The sensor is great. Yeah, the sensor reference time extremely great. Love it. Let's go try on 8K Hz now. 8K Hz is literally reference time, it's like literally more faster. I see, man, flick, it's more faster. Like I can flick more faster, reference time. But the sensor definitely you don't have any problem on the, on, on the sensor. The sensor response time is extremely great. The response time, the flick, like the precision is very nice. The sensor working perfectly. I love it. Perfect performance. Yeah, response time is great. And uh, so fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, slow. You don't have any acceleration. This is great points. This mouse for me, personally, is working perfectly. The click is very light. I love it. Like, most four, most, yeah, most five, most four is correct. Also, the scroll on this one. This is correct. This is normal scroll. Like, normal scroll for BOP, everything like this. Left click, right click is nice. The optical switch, the optical hormone switch, you, you feel immediately. Because it's literally unique, this, uh, this uh, optical. It's very light, you know it. This is hormone switch. It's, it's light, it's good for FPS. This 
is yeah, this is nice. Now for the people. This mod for me. It's more for the people playing Cloverleaf. For the people who have small hands, for me. If you have under 16 cm, you can play, sorry. Small hands on uh, upper than 60, you can play. Palm grip it's playable, finger grip playable, also claw grip playable with a problem. For the people who have medium hands like me, finger grip it's playable. It's playable. This is not the best mode for finger grip, but totally playable. Claw grip also it's playable. And palm grip. Also, this is playable, but this is not the best for me. This mode it's like more for the people play on claw grip. On claw grip it is good. And if you play on Rolex Claw Grip also. For the people who have large hands, palm grip, sorry, you can't claw grip. You need to try it. Finger dip on Rolex finger dip and normal finger grip, it's playable. But if you have more than 20 cm, you can play, sorry. On global it is most correct for me, boys. The quality, the feeling, the sensor, the perf, the sensor working good. And the price also is very nice. It's, comp it's totally very good competition on the markets. Only if I need to say the negative points, this is the optical hormone switch because you can put better, but it's correct. If you have like, any question, boys, you know it. YouTube commentary, private question, everybody is welcome on Twitter, Discord, private question. I try my best for answering you, boys. Take care, have a safe. Don't forget for drinking water. And thank you again for ATK for sending me this product. And yeah, this is good news. Love you guys. Ciao, ciao.